Well, all aboard once again. Earlier <laughs> in the show, Danny took us to the Colorado Railroad Museum because they're holding special events all week for spring break. Yes, and he's getting us to hop on a fascinating train here with a great name. The Galloping Goose. Yeah. It's just like saying it, you know? <laughs> you close your eyes and picture it, you're like, why would a train be named after a goose? <laughs> here it is. Isn't she pretty? Look at that Aww. clearly bird. <laughs> Uh, so the executive director, Paul, you met earlier, he says it's called the Galloping Goose most likely because of how it wiggles when it rides. You can see it kind of shaking uh, a little bit. And then also it has <laughs> this incredibly loud horn that's like, uh, that oh, I chose yeah. not to burden you with at 6 in the morning. So I chose not to play the horn, but it's incredibly loud, especially when you're sitting up front because the, the back of the car is from the 30s and the front is repurposed from a 1926 Pierce wow. Arrow which is a car. Oh. So it's kind of cool how much history goes into making these trains and be able to run today. So originally it just carried mail, but then it was modified to deliver people too. Mm -hmm. If it delivered babies, then it had to be called the galloping stork. Am I right? <laughs> Anyone? Too corny? <laughs> Straw poll? No, Lisa, right. Lisa, Lisa, too corny? <laughs> yeah. Okay, probably too corny. Uh, well, I want you to meet the heartbeat of this goose or stork that you just saw riding next to me in the front. Nobody knows more about this baby than its conductor, Al. He is their biggest volunteer at 85 years old. So you, you saw this in real life. Yeah. What did it look like in well, its heyday? Well, then it was it was it, it was in '47, so they had just put the the school bus bodies on them, so it looked brand new. You think that the trains have kept you young? This interest and in how much you love them? Well, I've been out here 20 years at the museum, and uh, I'm I'm I've been called Father Goose because <laughs> I I did all the restorations on the interiors on these geese, all wow. three of ours. We got Father Goose and we got Al. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Father Goose. And how That's do they keep awesome. you warm in the back? They have a coal furnace that I was shoveling in. Look at that thing. Wow. That's real. You, That's America right there. You got to achieve a dream. Uh, Ride the train, coal, shovel coal. Pull the whistle. You, you need yeah. to get some pinstripe uh, overalls. Right <laughs> I know, yes. I know. I'm no Al. He can really pull it off. But he has volunteered over 20,000 hours there. That's He's wow. the number one they're, volunteer they're so the last awesome, 20 years. They're so awesome, those conductors, yeah. yeah. And actually, I was mad because I thought of it when I was there, but it turned out it already happened. We did once honor him as an everyday hero on nice. Deadly right? for his volunteer, which well, he deserves. Yes, well deserved. I just wanted to be the one to give it to him, but right. I'm glad he got That's it. That's great. So. Galloping That's Goose, neat. it doesn't run very often. It runs on like Tuesdays every once in a while. The next Tuesday is the first week of April if you want to ride Good it. Good to know. Out there. Mm -hmm. All the right, goose. fascinating machines.